setting up EDIA 7 for 3D can make your editing life much easier. After all, as editors, we are selling our time. So anything that makes our workflow faster means that we're maximizing our earning potential. The first thing that you see when you open EDIA 7 is the startup dialog box. Here, you have the choice of starting a new project or a recently edited project. Notice the info bar across the top. It lists various information about each one of your projects. Like a Windows info bar, you can right click and choose what you want or don't want. You can also drag the individual tabs to whatever position works best for you. I like having the location of the project, the status, and then whether it's a stereoscopic edit or not. As you can see here, you can drag these to any position that works for you. Let's start a new project. Here, you see a list of project presets with icons. Notice that I have created my own custom icon for my 3D projects. More about that in a moment. When you select a preset, in the description window, you will see the settings for that project. You can also arrange these in order of the presets that you use most. One more button to be aware of is the Customize button. Let's click that and explore our options. In the Project Settings window, you see a layout of the preset that I chose. I'm going to click OK, and I will show you more on how you can access this window again inside EDIA 7. Let's get back to the settings. EDIUS gives you both system settings and user settings. These are powerful tools to make your 3D editing task easier. In system settings, there are adjustments for a variety of settings. I'm going to touch on the ones that will affect your 3D workflow. Under Applications is Playback. It is here that you adjust the playback buffer size and buffered frames before playback. These govern the quality of your real-time playback on your 3D timeline. Unless you have a slow computer, the buffered frames before playback should always be at 5 frames. The playback buffer size will vary depending upon the project settings that you're using. Just down from that is Project Presets. These are the same group of settings that we accessed in the Startup dialog window. Here, you can customize and save your project presets. Let's open my custom 3D 1920 by 1080 2997 169 10 bit preset. This looks very similar to the dialog window, except that now we can choose a custom icon. When I click Select Icon, I'm presented with a very thorough list of icons. Most of these come with EDIA 7. The 3D icons I created myself in Photoshop. The icons themselves are PSD files and the path to add your own custom icon is here at the bottom. The most important setting is here in the setup area. Choosing or changing the best render format and resampling settings can make or break the quality of your finished output master files. Whenever you adjust an image in EDIUS, the program resamples the image. It uses the method that you decide in these project settings for each preset in the list. This should be set differently based on the type of settings that you are using. For instance, if you're doing a 1920 by 1080 2997P 8-bit project, you would not need the render format set to Grass Valley HQX Fine. HQX Fine is a 10-bit format, so it is wiser to choose HQ Fine, which is 8-bit. If your project has fast motion, maybe race cars going through the frame vertically, you would want Lancos 3 smoother. But if you were doing landscapes, you might want Bicubic or Lancos 2. Consideration should be given to each project based on the subject matter and the final delivery specs. Next, we look at the user settings. In Application, Other, choose your default titler. I like VizTitle as my default. It makes excellent broadcast quality 3D titles and graphics. I will have a tutorial on how to create 3D titles with VizTitle in EDIUS. 
In the preview setting, it is important to change your on-screen display settings. Working in 3D, it can be visually distracting to have a large on-screen display. I have found that a small display in one corner works very well. Lastly, in user interface, button, you get to choose what icons you want to use on the timeline, recorders, players, bin, effect, source browser, and mode bar. Placement or addition is easy to use and is as simple as adding an icon and positioning it by moving it either up or down to the appropriate place for your comfort. There are many more adjustments that you can make to EDIA 7 to make your 3D workflow smoother. These are the main ones that I utilize. Please explore EDIA 7, find what works best for you, and share it on the Grass Valley Forum. Thanks, and see you next time.